Welcome back, everybody, to the Long Dark Winter Mute episode three. I don't know what part this is. Who's counting? Before we continue here, um, I have to I have to give a disclaimer. <laughs> so, I attempted to find my old microphone, the one that I used to record videos with before I started streaming, and I found it, hooked it up, and it made my sound like my sound settings all crazy out of whack, right? Uh, so I was like, well, we can't do this. This sucks. I can't use this for this right now. I'm going to need more time to figure out what the hell's going on with it. So I put my, uh, streaming mic back on and my settings are all weird. Like it sounds way louder than it used to at the same settings. So I had to turn some settings down. Uh, so I did some tests. And it sounded okay, but we're going to have to find out. So because I record in batches, if the next couple episodes are absolutely crazy with the audio, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. But uh, like I said, I did some tests and it seemed to be okay. It just, it's freaking me out because I had to turn all the volumes way down. But here we go. All right. So if you remember, we made it into the cave. Now, I don't remember what the hell is going on with this cave. Um, is it that? It was one of these. But it was like a local legends, the lost cave. Uh, so I don't remember it, you know, if there's supposed to be some kind of monster in here or something. I remember finding a book about a yeti. So uh, let, let's hope I don't get killed. That would be cool, right? Uh, speaking of, though... Okay, I've got many flares, so if my torch runs out, I'll just use a flare. Uh, but it doesn't look like I'm going to need this, I guess. Tell you what, we'll get a flare ready. And if I need to pop that flare, then we will. But I also feel like I should just pop the damn flare. Because there's one right there. Because uh, I don't want to miss anything in like nooks and crannies and whatnot. I'm not going to pick up the coal. Because we have a bunch of coal bag at the base. But let's hope there's not like a wolf or something in here. Now I kind of remember the layout of this cave a little bit. It's a big loop. I'm not going to pick up the firewood. You should. There's a lot of coal in here. And there should be like a body or something back off this way. Unless they've changed it for story mode. It appears that I might be able to crawl through that. There we go. So this is... Completely different than what I remember, so I think that might be a little different. Oh no. Okay, um, we're gonna look around the rest of the uh, the cave for a second. I'm gonna have to take off all of my gear to go through that waterfall. But we're doing it. That also means that I'm gonna lose my flare, I'm pretty sure. I could probably just drop it front of the waterfall uh, but let's take a look at the rest of the cave like I said I'm pretty sure it loops around it's just cool I think uh, in story mode there's like a campsite there's or not story mode in uh, the survival I think there's like a little campsite there and that's where you find the bow on the lower difficulties there may or may not be a corpse there I don't remember But that will be back toward the exit. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the flare on the ground. I'm going to take off all my gear. We're going to walk through that waterfall, and then we'll put the gear back on. Uh, and by gear, I mean clothing, because uh, we don't want the clothing to soak. You go underwater like or like under a waterfall like that, your clothing will soak and then start to freeze, and we can't have that. But if you're not wearing it, it doesn't. 
least that's the way it's supposed to work. I guess we're about to find out. But I know that walking through there with this lit flare will probably put the flare out. So we're going to drop that right there. And we're going to take everything off. Now, let's be adults about this. Put everything back on. Uh, that's the inner layer. I think I had those backwards. Maybe not. Outer layer. Looks like that's better for the outer layer. Sounds all like. Ooh. These are the same. Glowing cave. Let's see what we got in here. I yeah, don't need any of that. I guess that this is probably here so you can uh, thaw your clothing out. There's two dead people though. Go energy. Decent long wolf scar. Let's see if. Ah, it still doesn't. I mean, it's probably better than this. Yeah, that's much better. 1.3, that's 1.1. There we go. I guess we'll take that. Uh, we'll get to checking the bodies in a second. Just want to make sure there's nothing crazy behind them. Okay. Perfect. Another hunting knife, I'll take that. And a moose hide satchel, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, look at it. So what that does is that gives me even more carry weight. Another 11 pounds. So uh, well-fed gives me 11 pounds. And then the moose hide satchel gives me another 11 pounds. That is excellent. I'm not going to take that can opener. And that is rotten. Okay. Well, that was good. Unfortunately, now the light's gone. But, I mean, we can see the water right there. So I'll pop another flare. But, I wonder if I should sleep in here. I mean, it didn't work out for them. But I could instead sleep in the entrance. Uh, because we are we're not looking so good when it comes to uh, tiredness. Oh, I still have that fucking risk. And at least it's only one. Spraying risk because we're too heavy. All right, let's take everything off and get out of here. Oh, it's actually warm here with no clothes on. Look at that. Jesus, it's cold. Yeah, you're saying that, but we're warming up. All right, let's get everything back on here. There's probably a quicker way to do this. Uh, this is the outer layer. And then again, this doesn't matter. And that doesn't matter. 
Okay. I need to use... I uh, hope it's a regular flare. It is a regular flare. All right. Let's get out of here. I'm going to leave the firewood. I, I guess that's probably why they give you a bunch of firewood, too, because there's, you know, a campfire. But the moose side satchel was 100% worth it. This was a good track. Now, chances are I'm not going to need a fire to sleep. But I might set one anyway. I don't know. Dude, this place seems pretty warm. I mean, I got three arrows up right now. But what we're going to do is we're going to get up to the entrance. Not leave, though. And then I'm going to try and sleep. And hope that when I wake up, it's not too dark for me to find my stuff. Okay. Entrance is there. Alright. So this flare, I should have just used uh, a torch for that, but whatever. Let's eat heavy stuff. Dog food is 500. Dusty tomato soup. Yeah, let's eat that. Sleep for ten. And hope I don't die. I'm pretty sure I don't die. Alright. No no more intestinal parasites. The one percent didn't kill us. And then I need to need to sleep for a little bit more. So just drink some more. Probably another four hours or so. Because we can't leave when it's, like, dead of morning. Because it'd be too cold. Okay, that's probably good. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to run out of water, so I'll have to make some at some point. But that helps with the weight. Get rid of a lot of weight. Well, I mean the bedroll. Yeah, we're good. Okay, moving on. Now remember, what we're going to do is we're going to swing by the plane. Oh, it is fucking beautiful out here. Okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to get one of these. I don't know why I paused it there. I'm going to get one of these ready. Because what we're going to do is we're going to go up through here. And back down to the road. The road should take me to the plane. The reason that I'm having one of these ready is because apparently it uh, it's good enough to ward off the timber wolves. And the pistol's not doing it for me. So let's hope wolves are the only thing that I run into. If, I, if anything at all. But I, I know that this is wolf territory. But if the plane that we're going to look for is where I think it is... There's also a busted house there with a stove. Not only that, there is an abandoned prepper cache there, which probably doesn't have a whole lot of stuff in it, but it is safe. I just need to get back down to the road. And it's right there. I think that is it. To be perfectly honest. There's some wolves over there. They don't look like timber wolves, though. Maybe they all look the same. Oh, nope. This is the abandoned prepper cache area. So that 
is actually uh, up to Timberwolf Mountain. So that must be past the deer stand. We're going to check this stuff just uh, for, for the loot. I have a feeling, though, that the, the plane crash is going to have a bunch of loot. And we're going to, like, be humping it back really, really overweight. Okay, so there's a stove in case I need to make more water. There's the outhouse. Around this should be the prepper thing, unless they took it out for story. They took it out. It's usually right the hell there. Okay. Oh, moving on. Luckily, it is cold, but not, like, ridiculous cold. It's only two arrows down. Uh, and because of the story mode, who knows what's going to happen when I get over there. Like, there might be, like, a little cutscene. There might be a, somebody there. There might be a bear or something. You don't know, you know? <sighs> also, there's this deer stairs, the, the deer stand, or the hunting stand, or whatever they call them. This is usually the way that I take to Timberwolf. Like, I go all the way around and come through this way. So I know this area decently well. But, uh, from what I remember, there's like a crossroad there. Like, the, the actual road itself. And there's some cars with dead bodies sitting around it. Is that a wolf up on the ridge? I don't think so. I think that was just the tree. These mittens How might actually be better anymore? than what I'm using. Let's take a look. They're not. Uh, because they're only 5% less than what I'm using, and they're not nearly as good. Yeah, you better run. So I'm going to go around this because it's not as steep. So it looks like we're right at the plane. We're going to have this marine flare ready just in case. I wonder if it's the same like the tail section of the plane that you go to on uh, Timberwolf Mountain. It doesn't look like it. Looks like... Oh? Wait. The one on Timberwolf Mountain is the tail section, isn't it? I actually don't remember. It's been so long since I've summited. Yeah, the, the one on Timberwolf Mountain is the tail section. So this is the other half of that plane. That's really cool. And clearly there's dead bodies. Busted house there because we're near Skeeters. Yeah, let's take a look. I'm looking for insulin, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be all kinds of loot. I'm trying to see if I hear any wolves or anything, but I can't really hear anything over the fire. Oh no, do I have to go around? I think we have to go around. And I remember seeing wolves over here. But there was something at Skeeter's as well. It's just it's over there. So that's that mark on the map there is not actually Skeeter's Ridge. That's down below Skeeter's Ridge. But there should be a basement at Skeeter's over here that I could probably go into and warm up. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Yeah, I know. So let's take a look and see. If that basement exists in story mode. 
doesn't look like it. Or is it around the back? I think one of these is it. They've gotten rid of the basement there, too. Grape-ass soda, though. Got here. Disinfectant. Uh, that rope's probably going to be important. Coal, tender plugs. I'm going to leave all this. Simple tools. I'm going to take those because I don't know. Like, who knows? We might need it. Really bummed about the, uh, the basement, though. Anyway. How in the fuck do I get around to the plane crash? I wonder who owns this stuff. I'm not going to take that. Might have to start a fire right now just to get warm. This might actually be going around a long way, too. Alright, we're gonna head back this way. And go around that way. I wonder uh, if I can get up. Oh, there's there's the basement. Huh. Alright then. Please tell me it's warm. It's warm. Excellent. Got a lot of firewood too. This is Valley History Part 3. Don't mind if I do. With the onset of the collapse, Pleasant Valley locals didn't notice the the brunt of change all that quickly. Being so accustomed to remote living already, it took several years before life shifted in any dramatic fashion. Residents did begin to notice the growing scarcity of a few creature comforts imported to the island, but connected as they were through regular reports from the Regional Weather Service radio station, their post-collapse isolation took years to set in. Take that. A bunch of food. Back to the sprain risk. Got some knowledge. 55% uh, on that peanut butter. Not interested. 90% on that rest of that, that food. Not interested. There's more simple tools. 44% oh, on that soda, though. Oh, I'll take that. Aqua Pure. Uh, do they weigh a lot? Half a pound. All right. Oh, yoink! It's a regular flare. I'm gonna leave that because weight is a problem right now. This stuff will come in handy. Not gonna take that dress shirt. Sounds like it's getting pretty crazy out there. So. Go ahead and head out. I'm gonna go back around. Hello? Thank, thank you. <laughs> I was like, is he gonna let me leave? Ah, oh, it's windy. I'm gonna leave those rose hips. I know somebody's yelling at me right now. I didn't pick them up. Because what it looks like is, if I continue going that way, uh, I'm going to have a, to go all the way around, it looks like. Like a really far way around. But if we go this way, <clears throat> I might be able to go around and come in. But what I want to try is getting close to the fire here and see if that gives me some warmth. can even get close to the fire. Yeah, alright. It's giving me warmth. So we can wait here for a while and warm up. Unless I'm supposed to get up there. Yeah, okay. Some orange soda. Airline food chicken, huh? 97%. It's only half a pound. 
Huh. It is warm as hell in here. I wonder if I can get over there. Sprain wrist all over this place. Take it. Emergency stem, I will take. I'm going to leave that antiseptic. What's this energy bar? 47%? Leaving it. Can't get through that door. Guess I don't need this flare out. Aha! Let's see if I can search this one. So nothing. Then we'll search the actual luggage after I check all these. This is coming handy. Hmm. I'm gonna take that. Uh, oh, there's a lot more stuff out there. Oh, I don't know if this is the same plane as the Timberwolf Mountain plane. Parka. More cargo pants, probably better than the other thing that I'm wearing. Police mittens we found that are not as good as the mittens I'm wearing. I, oh, I actually don't know how to get back. Because I obviously wouldn't be able to get back up here. Man, there's a lot of food. Holy shit. I'm not going to be able to carry all that. But what we can do is we can go down this way and then back around so I won't have to climb any ropes to get down to this. The church artifact. I'm just hanging out here because it's warm. Um, that's a lot of food. You know what? Let's eat. Uh, still frozen silent. This tray is all taste of charm you could expect from reheated chicken, only without the heat. I don't. Do I need to cook it? I don't know if I'm supposed to cook that. I'm going to eat it. And hope that it doesn't make me sick. It did not make me sick. All right. Stacy's, don't make me sick. Okay. All right, those are only half a pound. And they give a lot of calories. So that's uh, it's actually pretty good. Look, here's the deal. If I drop down there, like I said, I can't get back up. And if there's something evil, it's going to fuck with me. So I'm just going to wait until I'm, I'm full because it's three arrows up uh, heat here. Oh, I didn't check any of these. And then we'll move on. Oh, shit, a toque. A toque is actually really good. Ski gloves. Check those ski gloves in a second here. Okay, that toque is gonna suck because it's all busted, but a toque is pretty good. Now, ski gloves are technically better than those, uh, they weigh a little bit more. A lot bit more. But if I repair them up, they might be pretty good. Alright, let's just get out of here. Oh, shit. Yeah, I see it. The problem is, I want to I want to take all this food. 560, 620, but only 35%. 7%. There's so much food, y'all. Eighty-seven percent of taking that one. Okay, 
Okay, we should probably go see, like... I should probably go see what it is I need to pick up. I might find something super good over there and then not have enough room for it because I've grabbed too much food. 93%, I'll take that. Alright, let's go. No, not taking that. ID badge. Okay, remember they wanted stuff to, uh, to, like, give them closure. So we're gonna take that. We gotta check all the corpses. And there's a fire here, so if I really need to, uh, come back and hang out there. But it also looks like I might be able to get back up. There's another hacksaw. How's the... That's 78 percent. This is 76. It's not enough to uh, do the gymnastics of switching it out. But we need to get all the corpses. We'll take it. <gasps> that sweater is amazing, by the way. I'm gonna take that hoodie too. We're just it's we're gonna have to limp back. If I can repair that sweater, we are in business. Okay, there's a lot of feathers too, because there's dead bodies and the crows drop feathers. I'd have to sleep in the this plane. Come in handy. That's not good enough. That is not good enough. That is not good enough. Another toque. Well, okay. So th those are toques, but they're not the Canadian toque. The one with the Canadian leaf on it. And those are the good ones. So I'm not going to weigh myself down with toques. Also, uh, the game is very loud at the moment, so I hope that I'm not being drowned out. I'm going to leave those and those. If they were climbing socks, I'd take them. Combat pants. Those are really good. Climbing socks. There we go. Oh, we are in the money right now. Oh, I already searched that one. It means I already searched that one. It means I already searched that one. All right, moving on. Another body over there. Let's see what we got. Thick wool sweater might be pretty good. about that asterisk. Thin wool sweater. Not good. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not better. I've already got one. What is that? hope that was just wind noises. I'll take it. Just some thermal. What am I wearing here? Thermal. Okay. I think all these people were carrying their IDs. Looks like I can probably use this to get warm as well. In fact, we're already an arrow up, just standing close to it. She got their bandage, I'll take it. Okay, I've already got a flare gun, but I'm going to take all these flares. Oh, 
what's the state of my flare gun? 100%. We're okay. More food and junk, but no dead bodies anywhere near it. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to have that flare gun out just in case. Now that we have extra flares, make sure it's reloaded. It is. This is I'm guessing that what I'm looking for is going to be right at the end or near to it. I thought that was a corpse. That's why I was going over there. Uh, is that a corpse over there? I don't think so. That is a branch or something. Let's go check over this ridge. Alright, we're getting cold again, and I'm pushing against the wind. Whoops, over there. I think I can use don't this. need that. Light shells are kind of crap. I think they're good for wind breaking, but... I mean, we're at the point now where I just need... I just need warmth. Now invest is no good. Thick wool sweater is good. There's going to be a lot of repairing to be done, which I should do while I'm here since there's food everywhere. already have. We're gonna step up here and take a look over the side. Corpse is that is a busted tree. I don't know if any of these are going to be alive, or if we're going to find anybody living. Oh, passenger manifest. Oh, I could, uh, I guess, cross-reference this with all the IDs that I've got. Let's so see if I got them all. Although I guess it doesn't make sense because some people are alive. Beans are more good. Somebody whimpering? This is so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. Okay, I can go hang out over there to get warm, it looks like. Is that Astrid? I think it's Astrid. Oh, more really combat heavy. pants. Fuck yeah. I am losing health at an accelerated rate with this cold. That was weird. I guess I am playing on Harden. There's a dead man. I want to check the dead man last in case it triggers anything. Ski jacket's probably pretty good. It's heavy, though. Okay. Uh, maybe that is important. Uh, oh, she's alive. Oh, oh, so she was the one. Okay. God, you're alive. Huh. Oh, I'm here. I'm here to help. I don't know if she's going to make it. She's very bloody and very cold. You've been in a crash. You're in shock. But I can help you. Just can let me start a fire. Too okay. far gone. You've huh? lost a lot of blood and you have frostbite. But it's okay. It's going to be okay. 
I'm a doctor. I can help you. Please. Mm. I want this to be over. Oh no, I didn't get to... Oh, okay, it's flashback. I was gonna say, I didn't get to check the last thing. Yeah, super interesting. Seraphim, what the fuck? Damn it. Sleep Research Center, Dr. Greenwood speaking. Did you get it? I told you not to call here. I'm sorry, but, but I'm scared. I am working on it. It's getting Astrid, worse. Astrid, what are you into? We have to do something. I'm going as fast as I can. Her blood cell fault levels. You said you had something that could help her. No. I can't just look. It is Those a secure important. area of the lab. I can't just walk out with it. There are security protocols. Astrid, and... it's getting worse. You have to do something. Oh no! Does she steal something? And that that's why she won't tell anybody what it is. Yes, I do. Find a way and get up here as soon as you can. I, I will. As soon as I can figure out how to... I'll find a way to get it to you. Well, have you asked Will? No. It's, it's been years since we... I haven't asked him yet. We don't have time for this, Astrid. You need to do this, and soon. I will. I'll fix it. I promise I will get there. This is I'm interesting. It's happening again. I'm afraid we'll lose her this time. That's not going to happen. Hurry, Astrid. I'm sorry. Hmm. I'm so sorry. I know you're in pain and you just want it to end, but I won't let you die out here. Well, we may not have a choice. TBH or TBQH. There's the insulin. Socks aren't gonna help. Let's diagnose. This might be serious. Yeah. Let's do one of those. It sounded like something just walked up on me. Okay, well, um I'm gonna have to carry her. Let's diagnose her. Okay, she's fine. We need to get warm. But I found the insulin. And we're both cold as fuck, so uh <laughs> I hope I'm able to put her down at certain spots. But what we need to do is get to that plane. And I'm gonna hope that I found all the bodies and checked them all. This is crazy. I was not expecting this at all. Uh, it's warm-ish there. Really worried more about her health than mine. Well, don't you start talking about the Aurora, because i it's daytime, first of all. Let's see if it'll warm up over here. It warms up for me, but not for her. Okay. Then we need to get all the way to that. Can't run because I'm carrying her. Uh, she doesn't seem to add to my carried weight, which is good. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to move at all with her. I really hope I can get back up there. Because if I can't, then we got to find another way through. Doesn't look like I can't. But warmth. Okay, so she's not getting warm at all. So I need to build a fire or something. See if I can put her down. Uh, all right. 
So what I need to do is I need to build a fire. And to build a fire, I need to find a place that I can put her. That I can build a fire next to. Dory. Uh, I think I can build a fire here. My feet. Thank God. Oh, well, maybe she's warming up. I don't know. She started at 56%, right? And she went up to 57? Oh, fuck. Wind. Fucking really? Alright, what about over here? Saw some green there for a second. Okay, well that's not gonna work then. It's okay. We gotta find a new spot. It's okay. Hmm, if I can build a fire in there. What the fuck? Alright, so I've got to find a way back that isn't going to get us both killed. I think the wind stopped. What if I put her... Right here next to this guy. Here you go. Okay, well her percentage is going up, so that's good. Now you put the fire there. Because I'm guessing that a fire is the only way to warm her up. If only on. I could get it started. Much warmer. Or maybe putting her down in a warm place. If I'm carrying her, maybe it doesn't count. If I put her down in a warm place, it works out. I don't know. But she's saying much warmer. Let's see. Yeah, it does. Okay. So I just need to set her down and I can hang out in a warm spot. Okay. I'm going to set her down here. I'm going to warm her up a little bit. I'm going to warm myself up a little bit. And then I will see you guys in a little bit. Uh, and by that, I mean tomorrow, because that is all the time I've got, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to go ahead and pause it just because uh, I don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, I went a little bit over than what I wanted to, but that's fine. We did that last episode, too. In any case, uh, like I said, there may be an audio issue. If there is an audio issue, it's only going to be a couple episodes uh, unless I can figure out how to fix it. Um, there might not be an audio issue at all. Who knows? In any case, remember to hit the like button, ladies and gentlemen, because it makes me feel like a man makes me feel like I have some kind of worth. Uh, it is very important. And then also subscribe and throw a comment down at the bottom. And we'll see. Maybe maybe it'll be funny. I don't know. Anyway, you guys take it easy. I'm out this piece. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good one.